Hello and welcome to my Elite Dangerous, my personal fleet carrier. The grind never ends, or never ending grind is what it is. Okay, I think we're loaded up, but uh, go ahead and see if there's any. Yep, there's one. For the future. Wait for that mission critical annoying message to get out of the way. Where it knocks you out of what you're looking at and throws you to the top, which, as you know, I don't like that. There are several things I don't care for. But, of course, Frontier don't care what I think, so... Kind of why I like No Man's Sky because they seem to care about what their players think. They've created a really nice game. As you can tell, I really like No Man's Sky. The problem that I do have with No Man's Sky is on a PC, from time to time, it crashes. I certainly don't like that part. It crashes more than Elite Dangerous crashes. But how uh, No Man's Sky is managed, I think, is much better than the way Frontier manages Elite Dangerous. For the most part, Frontier don't care. They really don't. They don't care. They don't care what you think. If you don't like it, just like their apologists say, well, don't play. So when I get frustrated, I go play No Man's Sky. <laughs> so I take their advice. I don't play when I get frustrated with them. Okay. Well, we need to make deliveries to uh, New Dawn in CEOs. And we need to make some credits. We do have five billion here and one billion on the fleet carrier, but uh, in this game, well, every game, uh, it's always a grind. <laughs> Even No Man's Sky is a grind, so that's that's just part of it. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, it's this left. Let's go deliver this. As they say, if you want the perfect game, get rich and create a gaming company and create the game that you would create. <laughs> I like the space games, I really do. I would listen to my play the players though and give them more options so they can play the way they want to play. And I, don't, I wouldn't mind limiting some of the, the options to solo only. That would be fine. Is this up? Because that's all I play anyway, solo. So be sure to look to the lower right hand corner of the video and press that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and you get uh, notified when I create more of these videos. And eventually it'll help me out with YouTube. Get some support from them. And look into the description toward the bottom. You'll see ways of donating. We need donations pretty badly. There's equipment we need for the YouTube channel that we just cannot afford. And no amount is too small because it does add up. So help us out as much as you can, please. 
and underneath the video to the far left you'll see our YouTube channel GFM underscore RDG where there's over 800 more videos for you to watch. And the pirates have been after us the last several times, so... Yep, it's come a long way to annoy us. That's what he's saying. And that's another one that says he's come a long way to annoy us. Better keep the uh, speed down. But of course, to help the pirates out, they uh, stick the throttle. Now it's coming back down. Now the Python is my best handling ship. For interdictions. Someday I'm going to learn how to uh, take out my frustrations out on these uh, and see it's always pointing you in the opposite direction from where you were going. That's kind of annoying too. There's a lot of annoying. <laughs> uh, again, if I wrote this game, it'd be different. It'd be more realistic. And less pirate fantasy. Is this left? Now with the fleet carrier, I have to give Frontier credit. They did uh, listen to the players for the first time ever in the history of Frontier. It's usually, uh, well, that's just the way it's written. Too bad, so sad. So, I was shocked. They would actually listen to the players. It's because about 99.999 were complaining. The ones that weren't, of course, are their apologists that uh, should be paid by them because... <laughs> No matter how bad something is, they're always, uh, it's always great. Everything's great. And everything's not great. That's why the majority of the players were complaining. And they actually listened and fixed some of it. Wow. I'm in, still in shock. Total shock. Sis view. Now, there are some good things in the game. That's why even those that, that did complain still play the game. And I have three copies of the game. It's not that I don't support them financially. I wouldn't have three copies. And the main reason for that is it's three profiles. So if I want to start over without destroying my main game I can is this left See, the graphics are a little better than uh, No Man's Sky. So I do give that to Elite Dangerous. It's a little more realistic graphics. Where No Man's Sky is a little more arcade-ish. But No Man's Sky already has space legs and landing on planets with atmospheres and uh, personal planetary bases. And it's pretty nice. A lot of fun. You should watch my uh, No Man's Sky videos. The trouble I had with No Man's Sky in the beginning was that first planet they send it to you. It's pretty rough for a newbie. 
So I created three brand new first starting newbie videos on how to get through that first planet. And I'm thinking about create going back on another profile in No Man's Sky and starting all over again too. Another beginners just to help those out that want to see more of that. Is this right? Oh, we still got 31 gold we gotta find. So it's a good thing to look at your inventory just to see what you got. Is this right? Just make sure I got it all. And we're up to 5026. So we need to get back to Sothis Mining. Sis left. Do appreciate you coming along and joining me. But I can't help you on the grind. It's still a grind. Sis up. I'd like to get to 5.1 billion before we go off and do something else. But be sure to press that subscribe button if you haven't already pressed it. That's really what we need the most. We're way behind on subscribers. We have quite a few. But we just don't have enough. So if you would, it doesn't cost you anything. Get notified when I produce more videos. And eventually it will help me out with YouTube. We're kind of on track for the hours watched that uh, YouTube requires but we're way behind on uh, subscribers so if you could help me there I'd greatly appreciate it and even though we have a full almost full fleet carrier full of tritium that we purchased we're still going to do some asteroid mining for tritium our viewers seem to really like that we get lots of views on our asteroid mining so and I'm not the greatest asteroid miner or that's not what I'm more successful at running cargo and uh, purchasing what I need seems to work best for me and that's really why we're have, we're doing more cargo missions right now because we need to add credits. I'd like to be at uh, a total of 10 billion by the end of the year. And we have 5 on our personal account and 1 billion on our fleet carrier. So that's 6. So if we could get 4 more, that would be pretty good. Fleet carrier costs us 25 million a week and upkeep cost. So we definitely need to do that or we fall behind.
What's this left? And we need to keep going out to Dav's Hope and Jameson crash site to pick up uh, manufactured materials and encoded materials and we need to continue to do planetary exploration in the SRV to pick up raw materials. Now our, our planetary exploration videos do real well too. So I watch the counts to see what you guys want to see the most of. And Cargo missions do real well, asteroid mining does real well, and planetary exploration does real well. Now my No Man's Sky hasn't picked up yet, probably because I don't have as many videos. And uh, Elite Dangerous is like 74 in ranking, where No Man's Sky is like 15th in ranking. So I know they're, they've got more players on No Man's Sky, so it's probably just because I don't have as many videos. I'm working on that. Is this left? this left always check for fines because I do come in hot at these small stations because Elite Dangerous is an ox obstacle course they put uh, NPCs to try to beat you to the landing spot since there's only one pad so the, they try to frustrate their their players as much as possible so that's pretty obvious so. Okay, we'll look at the missions and pick new missions. We won't deliver them until the next video. Let's go ahead and select some of the older ones. this left and we have another boom 180 gold yeah, we can't get all of that one we do pick all the two and three unit ones that are going to New Dawn. Right now we're only picking gold and palladium to New Dawn. Up to 10 and then we'll pick palladium only after that. But if you stack missions, you'll get more missions. And I know many of you don't like that, or many don't like that, that we stack missions for some reason. But you get better missions if you stack them. If you don't, you don't get very good missions. Just the way it works. It's the way they wrote it in the game. Is this right? Well, we are loaded and we'll be ready to deliver on the next video.
So we're at 5026. So I'd like to get to 5.1 before we go on to something else. So I appreciate you coming along. Be sure to press that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. You get notified when I produce more videos and eventually it helps me out with YouTube underneath the video in the description. You'll find ways to donate. Please consider donating. We need uh, backup equipment, additional backup equipment uh, for our videos, the raw videos and edited. And we need uh, some uh, equipment for our PC, like a graphic, better graphics card that doesn't bomb the PC because it overheats and we max it out. So if you could help us there and underneath the video to the far left, you'll see our YouTube channel GFM underscore RDG where you'll find over 800 more videos just from the last six months of the publication of this video. And in the about section of the YouTube channel, you will find a uh, email address if you wish to use it. So until the next video where we're going to be grinding and running some more cargo missions. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.